Here we are at the Central Virginia Auto Show, and we have a nice 1932 three-window coupe, and the owner... Marty Miller from Duck, Marty North Miller. Carolina. I'm sorry, from where? Duck, North uh, Carolina, right down quack, on the Outer Banks. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, so he's going to give us a little walkthrough about some of the modifications. We'll start with the engine. Well, some of the cool things about the car, it's got a GM LS3 in it, but instead of the fuel injection, which comes on the old crate motors, this has actually been bored out, uh, a much stiffer cam in it, and it's got a Hogan sheet metal hand-formed intake on it. He's the same guy that makes the sheet metal intakes for the Pro Stock teams. Okay. It's it's got a handmade Dan, Freak, Dan Fink all stainless steel grill in it. The front has been stretched about three inches to accommodate that LS3 with the firewall moved back a little bit. It's got billet specialty wheels all the way around. They're 17 on the front and they're 20s on the back. The top has been chopped to give it that aggressive look. Three in the back, three and a half in the front. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, the dash and the interior is all done so you don't see any switches, you don't see master cylinders. It's just a very, very clean look, but it has modern electronics, modern audio. One of the features of the car in the back is it's got a Kugel Components quick change rear end in it. You can snap that back cover off, take the spider gears out, and change the ratio of that rear end depending on whether you wanted to go to drag strip or down the highway. And you can do it in about 30 minutes. One other thing I'll show from this side is it has a, a NASCAR style exhaust on it where the body's actually been modified to make it look like it was traditionally that way. It has no mufflers, no baffles, it's all straight exhaust, but it's three and a half inch, so it's not overly loud. Who did the interior? The interior was done by a guy named Chuck Hanna down in Concord, North Carolina. It's called Chuck Hanna's Hot Rods Interiors. And uh, that seat, those seats are actually out of an Acura, <laughs> and they've been sectioned four inches, and the back has been shortened by six to fit inside that cab, but it's very comfortable. I wouldn't hesitate driving this car across country. So what about the front suspension? It's all independent front suspension. That's also by Kugel Components. And again, you give them the, the ride width and the ride heights, and you just weld in the brackets on your chassis, modify the chassis as necessary, and you're good to go. Nice. So you mentioned the ride height and the rake. I um, imagine you can uh, adjust it? You can. You can adjust it with the coilovers. There's three things that gives this the aggressive stance it has. One is, you can see that I've got 20 inch wheels on the back, 20 by 12s, and I've got 17 by 7s on the front. Also, the frame rails in the back have been kicked up to allow those wheels to uh, sit way up in the fender wells. And the third thing is the chop on the top, where you chop the front a little bit more than the back, and it almost looks like a Hot Wheels going down the road. Yeah, nice. <laughs>